Okay, boys, where are we going? What are we doing? We're going to the hunting range. And then what are we going to do there? Shoot. Why are you practicing your shooting? You're not old enough yet. Yes, I am. You could shoot a nerf gun. Yes. <laughs> We're visiting some friends in northern Wisconsin and doing a, a favorite pastime, shooting at the gun range. How old Seven. are you? Seven. How old are you? Ten. This is probably surprising to uh, most people outside of the US, but a lot of rural areas where we do a lot of hunting. We do learn to shoot guns from a very young age. My dad taught me to shoot when I was, I don't know, six, seven, eight years old probably. Wow. And my driver's license, even now, I've got a motorcycle endorsement and snowmobile safety and firearm safety. It's just showing that I've received proper firearm training from licensed professionals on how to safely handle firearms so that I could go hunting while I was still a young minor, which is a rule in Minnesota. Of course, I have to go with a parent at 12 years old. And Caden over here uh, is 10 now, and there's a special hunting season this weekend. They can hunt for two days uh, with their parents before the regular deer season, which comes a month later. So it gives them kind of a little advantage to try to get a deer. Before you can go hunting, you need to make sure your rifle is accurate enough. That's what we're doing right now. And it's the first time he's gonna shoot this, of course, with dad's supervision. Ooh, very nice. Bolt action, there it is. Look at that. Most important at this age is just learning about gun safety. You never point the gun at anyone, right? Yeah. Treat every gun as if it were loaded. That's right. right. So we're gonna adjust the scope so that it shoots accurately. At, what is this? 50 yards. 50 yards. So here we got a 25 yarder. Here is a 50 yarder. And way down there is a 100 yard. Right now, it's on safety. So you push that forward, that's on fire. Okay, get it lined up first, and then you can take the safety off. Yeah. Exhale and hold your breath and then shoot it. Did it hurt? No. He just shot this one right here, and this one still has the bullet. You see? Oh, yeah. Safety on. Just get it in your And then maybe we'll take a shot at 100 yards for fun. Ooh. Yeah. Now we're gonna see how young Caden has been shooting, whether he's been accurate or not. What? The gun is unloaded, safely back in its case. Oh, pretty good. Got this one right in the... Oh yeah, I didn't see that one. Someone's trying to shoot some plane cars here. <laughs> Look at this pole, just all shot up. So if you see a deer at 50 yards, how confident out of 10 do you feel you can shoot it? Probably nine. So I think Xiaomai is a little too young start shooting. But I would like him to know how to safely handle and shoot guns. It's kind of like learning how to swim. It's just a good thing to know. Might save your life someday or somebody else's. Daddy, I saw I saw you with a gun or shot ears. That's tomorrow. Can't do it now. A few inches too high. Why is it so close? <laughs> what are these, Kale? Things that you throw up. Shoot with a sport called trap shooting. So now we're gonna go set up the place where Caden and Daddy are going hunting tomorrow. For a lot of people here hunting, you know, it's a way of life, it's a tradition. And for a lot of people, it's a source of food. Deer is a very lean red meat. And I know when I was in college, I would always go hunting in the fall, get a deer and bring a lot of the meat and freeze it so that I could just have <laughs> just have good red meat all year round. You know, when you're in college, you don't have a lot of money, so it helps out a lot. Now we're gonna set up an area on the ground um, where they can come tomorrow morning, sit inside and be hidden from the deer that might walk by. You know, areas like this, kind of areas like where I grew up, the population is really low of people. But the deer population is, is really high and there are a lot, a lot of car accidents involving deer. And so it's really about population control. Most years there are just simply too many deer and they cause a lot of problems and a lot of accidents. People love to hunt them, people love to eat them. And with rifles, you get about one week a year that you can shoot them. Fresh meat tomorrow for dinner, we'll see. <laughs> Another cool little fact is these little lines here in this tank, they make maple syrup here. As you can see, a lot of these trees around me are, are maples. Tap the trees and it all kind of drains into this tank. 
and you boil it until it's just kind of this syrupy, sweetie goodness. Obviously this tank here is huge and I have a bunch of them, so this is a pretty, pretty serious operation. A lot of the syrup that you see in the grocery stores here, it's just kind of fake, just a bunch of sugar with artificial flavoring. And people can taste the difference and they're usually willing to pay top dollar for real premium stuff. There it is, we'll never see you guys coming. Check it out here. All right, so you sit in here. Chances are they'll never see you, but uh, they could smell you. Deer have a great sense of smell. A lot of times they get spooked and just run the other way. Where's the lazy boy recliner? Yeah. <laughs> You're all set up for hunting tomorrow. What time are you getting up? Probably like six. This one. Plus six, six? This one. okay. 24 hours later. All right, the hunters are back. Let's go see how it went. Did you guys see anything? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What do we got? Oh, no way, you got a deer! Wow. <laughs> Look at that! Congrats, buddy. High five. <laughs> uh, your heart was like <laughs> How do you feel, dad? Proud dad? Proud dad, proud moment, Did yeah. You yeah. He Chelsea? made a perfect shot. I was just Did telling him. Chelsea? Took me four years before I made a good shot like that. He did it on his first try Daddy, at 10 years old, Daddy, so. Daddy. One shot? Perfect heart shot. Is that skill or luck? Ah, uh, skill. <laughs> the following day. Getting ready for hot pot tonight. Just like lamb in China, but a little bit bigger. How long was the shot that you took? Like 85 yards. 85 yards? I think, yeah. And you right? hit it right in the heart. Yeah. That's impressive. You excited for deer hot pot tonight? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got some fresh deer tenderloin. We're gonna slice it up thin, put it in the hot pot. Who watching this video right now has had fresh <laughs> venison hot pot before, I bet very few. Look how lean that is, almost no fat. Go with this wonderful hot pot dinner to you. Tell us the story of your first deer. What was going through your head when I woke up at 6 a.m.? <laughs> I had to go back to bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got out in the blind before the sun came up and uh, we saw no deer. And then we were gonna go out hunting in the evening. You wanted, <laughs> you wanted to play video games instead. Yeah. And I said, no, you can't. Sat down. In the blind. And so I looked out and I saw this deer. He was like, how many? Like, right there. He's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Right there! Right there! <laughs> <laughs> and I looked and it was like 15 yards away from the blind. We were waiting for it to like do something so we could get the gun. We and then it just we... walked away and we yeah, never we saw it again. Oh, no. Five minutes later, two deer started coming down. Yeah. We were waiting for her to turn and then she finally turned and then I was getting ready to shoot but that gun just went off. What? <laughs> uh, getting ready to like put pressure on it but then just... You must have had pressure on it already a little yeah. bit. He made a good shot on it right away, which I was really impressed with, because that was a long shot. And then I said, how did that feel, Caden? That was awesome. <laughs> Your dad said he never shot one that far away. Yeah. Really? Yeah, well, here it is. The spoils go to the victor. We're gonna put this venison in this beautiful hot pot right here. Can you handle like Chinese Sichuan spice? Huh? No. I think you gotta try at least one. This guy is ready for hot pot. You wanna try some deer that Caden shot? Yeah, it's a deer. Venison tenderloin hot pot, my first time ever. Yum. Oh man. Oh, That's not. so tender. It definitely tastes like venison. It's got a unique flavor, kind of like lamb does. Very nice texture. What do you think of it? Quinn, what do you think of it? I mean, this is... Yummy, delicious, and good. <laughs> the hot pot is dead. The venison was amazing. Special thanks to Caden, the deer slayer. He's about to go to bed. He's in a hot pot food coma. Washer. Washer. Michael Oscar. Washer. Washer. Yeah.